everyone. I'm here with... Who are you? I'm your husband. Oh, what is your name? Pickles Bear. Yeah, the Pickles <laughs> Bear. If you watch our vlogs, you know who this is. But otherwise, this is Pickles Bear. And we are going to do the husband tag. Yay. It is 28 questions. I'm putting him on the spot. He has to answer all these questions. He's real excited. Yay. And he, we're also joined by... Mo. By Mo. We've named this curl going on right here. <laughs> That's our other guest star today. So, let's just get started. Number one, where did we meet? We met in elementary school. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Where did we go? I mean, where did we go? Where did we go? We used to go to school together. Okay, where did we go? What was the name of the school? Yes. Florence Christian Academy. Okay. Can we say that? Yeah, school's closed now. Huh? School's closed. Yeah, but now they know where we live. They already know where we live. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I didn't know how much secrecy you had from them. No. Okay. Y'all, we live in Florence. And y'all already know I'm from Alabama. So, where we go? Yeah, her stepdad used to take us to school every morning. Down. In elementary school. And then we re-met via the grand internet antique known as MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number two, what was our first date? How far back are we going? My first, like, like, in the MySpace era? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. I, wanna, I mean, the first time we hung out, you came to see us, and we just hung out. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess our first date date where we started dating was our anniversary, 4th of July. We went and saw fireworks at the hospital parking deck. Such a romantic. <laughs> Even at 18. Number three, where was our first kiss and how was it? Our first kiss was in my living room when I lived at my parents' house. <laughs> in front of your two best friends, might I add. Yes. There is witnesses. And we were watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which is why that show always has a special place in our hearts. <laughs> It's it? good. I did it again and again and again That's true. for eight years now. <laughs> That's true. That's been pretty good. <laughs> Number four. When did you know that I was the one? I don't know. It wasn't really a moment. It was more of a process. Like it just started out with that typical giddy love struck in the beginning and then over time it just I was like yeah I can deal with her for a long time. <laughs> Well, when did you know that you wanted to marry me? Mm hmm. Because you almost backed out of proposing. Yeah. <laughs> he did fess up to that. Well, it wasn't because I didn't want to. It's just, you know, I guess typical scared of commitment stuff. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would say probably, I don't remember exactly which beach trip it was, but there was a beach trip where we were talking about the possibility of engagements and weddings and stuff and I thought you know what this this could actually be a real thing so that was when I first was really like considering and thinking that yeah that could that could happen pretty sure that's the beach trip I would ever save the dates probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah. number five what was your first impression again we need to specify like how far back we're going we're going to our teenage Okay, so excluding years. excluding elementary school, yeah. these are all going to be in our yes. our re-meet. Yes, because I didn't like you in elementary school. <laughs> First impression? Yes. Well, I already knew you, but I guess, you know, any preconceived notions from when you're six kind of don't carry any weight anymore. Um, and I've been to visit one time before we had started talking. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I remember... Thinking how pretty you were, and I mean, you were pretty cool, even though you were one of my sister's friends. You know, it was. Yeah. Bitty dubs. Yeah. That's how we met. We traded friends. I married her, she married mine, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number six. When did you meet my family? You're going to need my mom. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, I mean, I think. 
really even the first time I went to your house was July 4th. So I guess that would be the first time I met your dad. Yeah. We just went ahead and knocked it all out in one go. Yeah. I went to visit her at her house and we saw fireworks and started dating and I met her parents for the first time. Well, then we saw fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first time I met her dad and first time I had seen Jordan in years oh, since yeah. he was a toddler. The first time, we first met time I met Sebastian. <laughs> I'm going to embarrass him a little bit here. First time I met him, he's running up and down the halls <laughs> naked. And he swears up and down he was never naked, but everybody yes. in the family knows. He stayed naked. So, Sebastian, <laughs> if you ever watch this movie, the whole world now knows your secret. Oh, he does. He watches my videos. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> him and Jordan both do. I don't think I have any embarrassing stories on Jordan. He was always pretty chill. He stayed close. Yes. You met Ashley that day? I did. Yeah. And Janine. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, her. we went to her house. I just met everybody on you this did. trip. You did. This was a big trip. <laughs> you introduced to everybody. Made it count. Number seven. Do we have a tradition? I don't know. I mean, kind of, I guess. I mean, we do the same things on Christmas and... We tend to celebrate big events by going to Bridge Street. <laughs> yeah. Um, we always go on a trip every year. Like, does that count as a tradition? I don't know. I mean, we've been married two years. I guess we're still trying to figure out what our ongoing things are, but we do have things that we do. Like, we know our Christmas routines. We always go... Christmas Eve with your family, then we come home to my family on Christmas Day, and we always do uh, Thanksgiving with my family. I think when we were dating, we made it a tradition that wherever we were, we spent Christmas morning together. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, now I feel like we need to start traditions. <laughs> yeah. You always put perfume in my stocking for Christmas. I do, I don't know. Okay. I don't, I don't. I don't guess I ever think of them as traditions. I guess I just think of them as routines we get into at different times. But I guess that is what a tradition is. I don't know. Yeah. Traditions just seem like they're supposed to be something more special. I mean, our tradition every week we go out to eat, either on Sunday or Monday, and we run errands one day. I mean, we just have routines we get into. I don't know if it's so much <laughs> a tradition. They're traditional routines. Which is weird, considering how traditional our relationship is. <laughs> Yeah. Leave them in the script or in the comments. Any traditions you and your significant other have. Yeah. And I what, pick something what up. we need to I start. I remember when I was growing up my mom always put the Christmas tree up on my birthday. So that was a tradition we did then. Bless. But that seems a little late for us because you like to have the Christmas tree up for a long time. Yeah, I can't wait that long. I gotta have it up like November first. No November. November first. I'm about to talk about this. November 1st. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. What was our first road trip? I know this one. Do you? Yes. Our first road trip. But I'm a woman. I'm supposed to know all these. Yeah, I mean, that's why we have you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I remember us always doing beach road trips. It wasn't a beach trip, was it? Was it? Oh, it was the one with our with uh with my with my family. Yeah, we went to the beach with my dad and my sister and my now brother-in-law and my little brother. Yeah. That's when all four of us rode down there together. That's right, and Austin's Jeep. It's a benefit to date each other's friends. <laughs> so you know each other, you know you get along. So the four of us just rode down to the beach together. Yes, it was that. Go me. <laughs> It was that summer after I graduated high school. Oh, okay. Number nine. Who said I love you first and where and when? I feel like that's probably something I would have said first. Yes. I don't remember. Where. Oh, I do. It was, our, it was the night of our first kiss. Yes. Yes. And they can recollect that story by using the little scroller to go back of a couple of minutes. <laughs> No. I actually remember your reaction. We were kissing. 
pretty intensely, I might add. And in a breath of air, I said, I love you. And all you could get out was, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you ever said it back. It took you a while. But I got you there. No, I said, I love you too. And you said, do you really? And I said, I'm getting there. I mean, I got there. Obviously. I did say it on 4th of July. I wanted to wait till I saw you again in person. So, we moved pretty quick. <laughs> Not like that. Which is weird that it took us six years to get married. <laughs> yeah, five years to get engaged. We went ahead and knocked out the big stuff and like, cool, we can coast now. Well, they didn't knock out all the big no, stuff. So I think that's pretty big. <laughs> so, we moved pretty quick. Considering I was 16. Well, I mean, when you know, you know. <laughs> Number 10. What do we argue about the most? I don't know. Our arguments really tend to be pretty stupid. Yeah. And it usually ends up... <laughs> like, it's the same <laughs> argument about a different subject every time. It's always... You say, you know... Why don't you listen to me? Why don't you pay attention? I'm always like, I'm saying the same stuff I say every time and you never listen to me. And then we just, eventually one of us cracks a joke and it's all over. We never stay mad at each other for all day. It's usually a couple of hours at the most. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's always the same argument, but never about anything. We don't, we don't have big arguments. We get along pretty well. No, and sometimes that kind of concerns me. Why? That we don't. <laughs> oh no, we get along. It's too bad. Just the fact that we don't have big arguments. You think it's healthy to have big arguments? I mean, we know how to handle each other. We know how to handle ourselves. I don't know. I, just, I don't feel like it's normal. I don't know. All we've ever seen is dysfunction. She's watched too much trash TV. No. <laughs> All we've ever seen is dysfunction. It's the TV. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll cut off my TV. No, just maybe change the channel every once in a while. <laughs> We're watching so much Lifetime and... I don't watch Lifetime. You used to. Now it's Roseanne and Facts of Life and... Golden Girls. Golden Girls. <laughs> Nobody in Golden Girls is married. No. I think we all know that Roseanne just, you know, the whole family just loves to hate each other. And in Facts of Life, nobody really has a family because it's high school girls. They go to college. And they still don't have a family. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Well, you right now. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, this is taking a turn. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I like to think we share things pretty evenly. I mean, we, we do tend to fall into traditional roles, but we we make decisions together. We do big things together. No, Neither one of us really takes charge. Anytime no. one of us has to make a decision, we always talk to the other about it. And before we do anything, we always have to come together on it. Neither one of us really is just like, I'm the boss. It just doesn't work that way. I um, mean, we're very old school. Like, I mean, I do accept that. You're the head of the household and everything, but it's not like on Roseanne where she's like, she's in charge and <laughs> it's her way or the highway. No, we don't really do We don't have that. I don't feel that that's healthy. No, I mean. That's why we don't have big arguments. <laughs> I well, I mean, pretty Just because both of us have input in everything. I mean, with all this house stuff, I mean, y'all saw the bedroom door, and if not, you can go back and watch it. I mean, everything in here. I'll it is it. more feminine, but, I mean, we both came in on it together. I mean, we, we, we had to agree. We had to concede. Now we're chewing on the bone. <laughs> <laughs> She's good now. <laughs> Number 12. Uh, we've already answered this, but if I'm sitting in front of the TV, what am I watching? There we go. Although I have to admit, the Golden Girls, Roseanne, Facts of Life routine is a lot better than what it used to be. I used to get so angry, I would come home every night in RuPaul's Drag Race 
was on TV. Now, I'm accepting of all lifestyles. Do you, as long as it doesn't affect me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I have to want it on my TV. I don't want to watch a bunch of people just acting a fool on TV. I don't like a lot of reality TV, period, just because I feel it's... It's overdone. It's overplayed. It's too much. Way too much. <laughs> Talking to you, MTV. <laughs> <laughs> I like MTV mostly. I just don't like reality TV very much. No, you don't watch reality TV. <clears throat> Except MasterChef. Is that kind of reality? I guess it does count as reality TV. But it's not the same kind of reality TV. Yeah. Number 13. What dressing do I get on my salad? Ranch. 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 <laughs> I told y'all, he's so mean about my accent. That's not an accent. That's just a mispronunciation. No, because that's how I pronounce it. Ranch. <laughs> Ranch. If, if, you, if you put that, like, in a, here's how you pronounce this, like in a dictionary, there would be a bar over the letter A, because it is a long A when she says it. It's ranch. Not ranch. 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 I can't, my mouth does not do that ranch. The Hispanics who work for me, who's, who have English as a second language, if it's a language at all, say ranch the correct way. <laughs> my mouth won't do it. <clears throat> ranch. There you go. Ranch. Ranch. Say anemone. And, and, and... <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and <laughs> so what? Anemone. An, anemone. Anemone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14. What's a food I don't like? I'm a pretty equal opportunity eater. Yeah, I mean, you and I both are pretty good about trying things. One food you just won't eat. I don't know. I don't know if there is one. Is there? Am I missing one somewhere? But I, I've never seen something be put in front of her. You're just like, no, I can't. I refuse. You know, we like pretty much everything. We like all meats, all seafoods. You and I tend to not like textures, like weird textured things. I think oh, we can yes, agree. Oh, there is stuff I want to eat. Like what? Watermelon. Oh, that's true. She's not a big fruit fan. Loves vegetables, but most fruits are a no-go. You don't usually like apples or watermelon. She loves peaches and strawberries. No melons at all. No cantaloupes, no honeydews, nothing. And that's really strange to me, especially being from the South. We do we do watermelon. I don't. With salt. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But generally, it's textures and bitter things. We don't like bitter things. Number 15, when we go out to eat, what do I get to drink? If it's available, Diet Dr. Pepper. But if you're not feeling the, 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 the carbonated beverage way, <laughs> or if it's not available, you'll usually go for a sweet tea. Or if it's brunch, it's always a mimosa. Occasionally the Bloody Mary. <clears throat> the man knows me well. If we sit down and she's got to go take care of business somewhere else for a minute, I know what to get her to drink. I could probably pick out what she wants to eat on the menu. Too. Probably. Number 16. If I was collecting anything, what would it be? I will nick knacks. Owl is not my favorite bird. No, but you're all about it here lately. <laughs> what is your favorite bird? Penguin. Oh, yes, penguins. We do, penguins. We do have a lot of penguin stuff, too. It's mostly Christmas stuff. I have no I hope penguins coming. We have penguin measuring spoons and measuring cups and salt and pepper shakers. And we have All a the penguin, figurines. little penguin family to put up for decorations. I love penguins. You love penguins. What would you collect? That would be the big one, I think, if you collected puppies. something. Yeah. I'd collect puppies. Well, she doesn't, but she would if, if she could. If we had a place to put them, we would open our own shelter. And that, I think that might go for both of us. Like we would just open up a puppy <laughs> I'm going to say, you're a sucker too. <laughs> not a big thing on uh, cats. Not not big on that. But No offense to the cat people. But a dog, 
just a general dog rescue. Not like a all of it. Not just a certain kind of dog. We just do just a dog rescue. No, oh, I'm an equal opportunity puppy lover. All the puppies. If you love me, I'll love you back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number seventeen. What is my favorite type of sandwich? Not peanut butter and jelly. But what is my favorite type? Your favorite type of sandwich? Yes. I would say either turkey or roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah. I have expensive taste. With horseradish. Horseradish yes. sauce. Sometimes cheese. You, you tend to prefer Swiss cheese. I think cheddar goes better with the roast beef, but she likes a, a beef and Swiss. With horseradish. Oh my gosh, I want Arby's night. Number 18, what is my favorite music? Pop. Your toes are cold. Yeah, they are. I've got this air conditioner going right on me. Oh here. my gosh, stop it. Come here. Warm my piggy. Stop it. Stop. They're so cold. They are cold. They're, they're, you know, the like tips are numb. Frostbite. <laughs> my God. Mr. Freeze is breathing on my toes under this dresser. <laughs> <laughs> What was the question? What is my favorite music? It was, it's pop music, just general, general pop. I mean, here lately you've liked country a little bit, but I really don't have a favorite type of music. 90s music. You tend, yeah. I mean, you when you get on your uh, iHeartRadio or whatever, you tend to be listening to. Okay, middle of the night, I hear some boy band breakdowns in the kitchen. Okay, I wake up <laughs> three, four, five o'clock when somebody can't sleep. There is a boy band concert in my kitchen or the shower. And if it's not 90s boy bands, it's Disney songs or like some Lady Gaga dance remix. <laughs> There's some strong independent womaning going on in my shower sometimes. <laughs> Isn't it fun being married to me? Yeah. That's what we need to vlog one day. <laughs> find this camera when you're in the shower or cleaning the kitchen. and Just audio is all you need, really. But if I could sneak a visual. <laughs> My routine. That would be your cleaning. highest. That would be your most viewed video. And it would all be family views. Like, everybody would watch it, like, 80 times. <laughs> Using my cleaning supplies as my microphone. Yes. I wish somebody had seen it with the broom. I went on Mrs. Doubtfire. That was a good show. Keep waiting for the day you do that with like your your straightening iron and you just like burn your mouth on it. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna wake up to like a yell. I don't do that with my straightening iron. I don't. I got more sense than that. Which appliance do you use? I don't use appliances. I don't believe you. I use the dishwasher and scrubby brush, and I use the broom. I have gotten soap on my face. <laughs> what do you use when you're doing it when you're putting your makeup on in the bathroom? Or doing whatever you do in makeup there? Makeup brushes. That's it? Yeah. I, I have a feeling there's more than that, but okay. Whatever you say, sweetheart. Don't call me a liar. Not at all. I just, I know you. I'm proving that. Okay. <laughs> Number 19. What is my eye color? Green. No, it's blue. Are you sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah, we have the same eye color. Well, yours are a different color blue, but they're both blue. They're all blue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross-eyed me. Sometimes it's both of our like they're a different color, but they can both be brighter or darker by what we're wearing. Number twenty. Who is my best friend? <clears throat> Where's the calendar? What day is it? No, it's it's a it's a toss up. Well, you you have several people you would consider your best friend. Okay. It would be Ashley and Stephanie. What about you? Well, yeah, me, obviously, but, I mean... You're the bestest of friends. I'm the closest. Stop it. <laughs> Don't make this awkward. No. 
<laughs> but no, I mean, those are, those are the two people that, you know, you, you've always been able to, to count on and always been able to talk to, and they're two of the friends that I've always approved of. You know, not that you needed my approval, but I'm, I'm usually right about people. Mm. And a lot of people that have, a lot of your friends through the years that have fallen out of your life, I called it. And I, I mean, I hate that, but I feel like I want to try to, to save you from the bad experiences. Did you ever know? You're my hero. Yeah. You're everything I wish I could be. <laughs> Not amused. Oh, no, my nose is itching. Oh. Mine is too. You someone's pa- coming. Are you passed it along? Someone's coming. It's contagious. No, someone's coming. They better not. They're going to be disappointed. Oh, you ain't got the pants on. <laughs> Oh, me. Number 21. What kind of cake do I like? Birthday cake. Yes. It's true. Not even like birthday cake. Birthday cake anything. Milkshake. Ice cream. Candy bar. If they make it in birthday cake flavor, she loves it. Yes, it's true. And for those of you saying, oh, birthday cake's just whatever kind of cake you want to make. No, it's not. There is a birth... there, There is... Go to Walmart birthday cake. You can try that with just a regular white cake and it will taste different. I don't know why, but it does. I have sprinkles. <laughs> birthday cake. Yes. Number 22. What can I spend? What questions are there? 28. Okay. Why? I just thought we were going, I thought this was like playing 20 questions with your significant other. You got somewhere to be? No. I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. Number 22, what could I spend hours doing? Vlogging, makeup, watching YouTube videos about makeup. These are other things that you spend hours doing. (laughs) Number 23, if I were stranded on an island, what is the one thing I could not live without? May. Doll. So when we're starving, I'd eat you. You wouldn't be hungry. (laughs) (laughs) Doll. I'd have you there to bring. Yeah, my end apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could outrun you. I don't have to be the fastest thing on the island. I just have to be faster than the slowest thing. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Twenty-four. How much have I paid for a haircut? Too much, I'm sure. I think I'm about to get on a soapbox, but I'm, I'm not going to. But. I think it's ridiculous that a woman can go to a hair salon and pay 150 bucks. I've never paid that much. I know. To get something done and then come out looking like all they did was curl it and put half a can of hairspray on it. And then a guy can go to that same place and get a haircut for five bucks. And actually get haircut off. It's fucking like such a million. Anyway, what is the most you have spent on one? I would probably say... Like, are we, are we considering, like, prom hair and stuff? Because I would say that would probably run up to, like, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Mm, it's been about 60. But that was color, too. So, pickles. I need to get my hair done. You color your own hair now. I want highlights. And I need a haircut. I ain't chopping my own hair. No. <laughs> that will not end well. Number 25. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is the one thing that I do that is just like my mother? I'm not going to do it. I refuse to answer this question. (laughs) I can edit it out. (laughs) You won't, though. You don't know. I might, depending on what the answer is. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I just, I have a feeling that this is going to offend somebody. Like, no matter what my answer is, either you're going to be offended because you're, I'm, I'm saying you're like your mom and you want to be your own individual, <laughs> or it's going to say to me, like, maybe I come up with something maybe your mom doesn't do well, and, like, she's going to be offended by that. What? what? I don't know. What I do, mean, I, I, do I do what, anything what like her? What do you do that's like your mother? Uh, you look like her. All the time. Constantly. No, I, I, 
Okay, honestly, and I think y'all could both admit this, y'all both have similar attitudes and ways of dealing with people. Like, y'all just don't take crap. Like, y'all y'all will say what needs to be said and put people in their place. Okay. You inherited your mother's attitude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I don't take crap. Number 26. Am I always on time or late? You're pretty on time usually. I stress. I get anxiety about that. Yeah. You and I both, we do, we do really well. If I can get you out of bed. About bed, yeah. That is a hassle. Especially if I've worked the night before. And it's not because I just don't want to get up. I'm, I'm tired. Especially like if we have to be somewhere on Sunday. I work so late on Saturdays. I'm just exhausted. Sundays are hard to get up and go. But Sundays are usually the day we have stuff to do. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have Sundays off to do things, though. But it is hard to get up. I know. And I try to understand that, but damn. You sleep till the last minute. <laughs> God forbid if I have to take a shower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> is there one of these where you can answer my questions? <laughs> There's a couple's one, two, three tag where we both answer on the count of three. Sounds like a new game. Kind of, yeah. Okay, number 27. Am I tidy or a messy Jesse? That's actually what the question says. Well, I think the answer speaks for itself. Stop it. No, you you go through streaks where there are some things you want to clean, but I think in general, and I told you this, I feel like we could do a better job keeping the house clean. But I think you know that. But here lately, you haven't been feeling that well. So I can kind of give a slot on that. But there are just some things that we just don't like to clean. Like for some reason, we both of us hate cleaning floors. And they just don't get cleaned until it's just you feel gross walking on your own floor. <laughs> and for some reason, we don't we don't clean windows and we don't dust. But we're usually pretty good about We're, we're better about keeping things straightened up for the most part. There's just... Some things we just don't like to clean. Yeah. I'll clean cosmetically, but date cleaning. That's usually more my thing. Last question. What is my favorite color? I don't know that I would say you had a favorite color. I mean, going by your wardrobe, it's black. <laughs> <laughs> no. You've gotten better. Not that I can say much, but I mean, I, I used to have, my, my wardrobe is 50% black. Um, I mean, you do have a lot of dark ones. I mean, you've got a lot of blacks and grays and whites in your wardrobe, but uh, I, I think you like lighter colors, like almost more pastel -y colors. Yes. I'm a delicate flower. see all that. Well, they've seen it before. <laughs> At least it's color coordinated. Yeah, we do. We do that. We have, for some reason, we, we obsess over We do that. I, I organized mine by color before that. This used to be my closet, and then she's like, oh, I think I want it too. <laughs> I'm not even sure what's hanging in your old closet now. Dresses. See, it's still more her stuff. Now she has two closets. My w two wedding dresses, God forbid. We got the bookcase in there. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoy getting to know more about me and Pickles. And seeing as yeah, yeah, at each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If y'all like seeing Pickles and videos, let me know. If y'all have any suggestions for videos, we're wanting to do some food challenge videos. We're thinking about the baby food challenge. Yeah, that's one of them we want to do. There, there's a lot of them. What's that? The canned food challenge. We want to do like a... I know. I'm looking forward to that one. She's not. I think it'll be a lot of fun. No. We want to do like like try different foods from different restaurants and compare and see if we can pick which is which. Like get a cheeseburger from like four or five different restaurants and see if we can pick which goes to which restaurant. We got a lot of different video ideas. Chicken sandwiches, hot sauces, <laughs> fries. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I thought that was your leg. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I have the questions for the couples one, two, three tag. That 
maybe we'll film. I don't know, man. Okay. Because I feel like it's only fair we turn the gun on you now. Okay, let me see if there's like a wife tag or something. <laughs> I'm sure there is. There's a tag for everything. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed having pickles. He may become a recurring guest star. We should do like weekly pickles video. I need to do some. I need to get my channel started. Oh. Maybe do some. Maybe do, but that, that could be like our our food challenge channel. That could be your second channel. I need to rename it. Second channel. Am I have I gotten to the point that I have a second channel? Am, am I that legit? I mean, I mean, they need to get the view counts up so that we can afford to split them. Okay, well, maybe there's a spoiler alert. There may be a second channel coming. There may be a, a, a weekly pickle segment. I don't know. Here's your weekly pickles. Maybe like weekly pickles Wednesday or something. And your videos can go up on Wednesday. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'll work on it. Anyways, let me know in the comments any video suggestions. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. We would love to have you. Ding. Until next time. Bye. Bye. You gotta wave. No. No. Okay.